Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy YouTube Blue coming back at you again, man. Hey, training camp has begun. Not just with the Cowboys, but other teams as well, man. If football is back, just about. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the time of year where you really want to see football. <laughs> I know that some people are probably going to different training camps and going to see their favorite teams. And shout out to everybody that's get to do that. But, you know... Dallas Cowboys are always in Oxnard, California, and them ticket prices is something else right now, so can't get out there. And, you know, I should be able to go out there sometimes because training camp is always, like, my birthday because my birthday is next week. But, uh, you know, maybe one year I'll go. But um, before we get into the juicy news, I want to talk about everybody's in camp right now except for two people. Two people are on the injury list. Um, Schoolmaker is on the non-football injury list, and um, Jordan Lewis is starting off on the PUP, um, physically unable to perform list. Um, no surprise there, because we knew that he was going to start out with that. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, we can see some progress with Jordan Lewis, and hopefully he can you know, come back and join the team. Now, the first game, as far as preseason goes, is going to be on the 12th. So that's going to be soon. So I think we played the Jacksonville Jaguars for that first preseason game because I think the Cowboys got three preseason games this year because they're not in the Hall of Fame game. So, um, yeah, get those out the way and then uh, be able to do something. But, Cowboys did make a big move. They signed, well, extended Trayvon Diggs because he definitely deserved to get that bread. You knew he was going to get that bread. Trayvon Diggs gets a five-year, $97 million um, contract. Excuse me. Five-year, $97 million. And it can go up to $104 mil, um with incentives, but... You know, by the time the end of the contract comes, they they normally tweak it by the end of the contract. But it's it's very team friendly because it's a five year contract, so that money is spread out. Right now, he will be making I think about nineteen nineteen point four million a year um, base in his first couple of years. So. Um, Shout out to Trayvon Diggs, man. You know, getting all those interceptions. We knew that he was going to get that bread. Now we just got to get uh, CeeDee Lamb on board. We know that um, um, Zach Martin is a no-show because he wants to get that contract extension, which he deserves. I mean, he's one of the best um, offensive linemen in the, in the business. So um, I think with them, um, Jerry Jones just said that um, he's definitely on the list, for on the docket for them to do that. So we just got to be patient and wait for that. I'm pretty sure they're going to do that sooner rather than later because they don't want Zach Martin not being there. Um, because that's 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 the one of the best offensive linemen you got on your team. So you got to have your captain out there. Um, I think that he is going to be fine. They're going to take care of him. He's going to be all right. He's he's not going to go to any other team. Um, you know, he just, he just wants to get his just due. And I think with him, it's just a matter of just restructuring some things, moving some money around, um, converting some of his base into, into signing bonus. Um, just, just, just make the man happy, pay him so he can finish out the rest of his contract and he can retire Dallas Cowboy. That's pretty much what it is. Now, the one thing that I'm happy about is that there was no setbacks with Terrence Steele. He, he's, he's ready to go. He's starting training camp, and I'm just 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 waiting to see what happens when these guys start and get get out there on the field tomorrow. So, with that being said, man, let me know what y'all think about this Trayvon Diggs um, uh, resigning of his contract or re um, I'm sorry, re up on his contract. This is his second contract now. Um, we got to get Ceedee Lamb done, and you know Micah's up next after that. So. Um, I like what the Cowboys did with that. They were able to do a kind of a team friendly deal because the longer the term is, the less cap hit it is on the team. So that's a good thing for the Dallas Cowboys. So uh, with that being said, man, like, share, subscribe to the channel, man. This is your boy, E2 Blue. Always keeping it real, peace.